We're here with Mike Meir, Riviera Paddle Surf at the uh, Pacific Paddle Games. And Mike, congratulations on winning the uh, Riviera, winning the Corporate Challenge. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about that and, and how do you feel about uh, the event? Uh -oh, thanks, John. Uh, I think the event overall, without talking about the Corporate Challenge, was really awesome. I think the general consensus from uh, Everybody I pulled talked to most all the brands, and we all feel that it was uh, like right now we're all even on a really good high. I think everybody th feels they uh, did really well, you know, whatever category they were in. And uh, I think it was, I don't know, it was kind of like the highlight of everybody's weekend for sure. And I think we're going to build on a great event uh, for the future here. It was a great start. What about your team? Your team uh, that you had out here, you had some new faces, you had some that uh, you were pushing that really showed up and, and surprised a lot of people? Yeah, the fun one was, it's always Brandon Rambo, of course. We call him, he shows up and blows up. And uh, because of the manufacturer's challenge, we had to kind of uh, put people in certain places, you know, where most people want to surf in the elite, but we had to put them in the open. And uh, of course, he just shows up and blows up and he wins both divisions, you know. The team as a whole did really well. The girls did great. The guys, uh, our Mexican contingent came in and did great. Uh, we had people from all over the place that came in, so that's what we made this a great, kind of an international event for us, so it was great. Cool, and you know, you've been doing a lot of work um, just supporting the, the youth movement in the sport, and we had such an incredible showing this weekend with the Groms, the Grom pros, and, and um, you've just been seeing firsthand how that's been developing specifically here in California, and, and uh, tell me a little bit about how that's been going, and and how that's been developing. I think it's been going great. I think it started for us. I think Candace and Anthony started their ROM thing a couple years ago and pretty much the, the similar time frame uh, Mike Eisner started the Paddle Academy and we kind of joined forces with them for the first group of kids. It was like eight I think in the beginning and uh, what we did as a brand, we didn't want to make it a Riviera thing. We just outfitted the post kids with boards and paddles to get them on the water and since then the thing's just, it's uh, really spawned and turned into a thing of its own. And now it's actually a paddle academy where it has kids coming from all over the place. Parents, some parents drive an hour and a half, two hours, believe it or not, to bring their kids to the practice now. And my big feeling about this is without the youth, we really have no future in stand-up. So thank God the youth thing is really growing. And it's not now, it's in Tahoe where my nephew's place is. There's a, there's a youth movement um, on the other side of the shore, North Shore. There's another group movement over there. And I think it's really growing. So what about the... You know, taking this into the whole State of the Union for the sport, I mean, uh, this is, we've had some ups and downs, and this is sort of an uptick. Um, you know, how do you see the, the health of this sport right now? Uh, I think, my honest opinion is right now, but I think the whole, um, not the economy, retail this year had a, is there, when it's the year's over, I think they're going to show it's about down 20, 25%, which I don't think is, um, has anything to do with stand-up. I just think we're at retail and we're, we're experiencing the same thing, so I think a lot of people are panicking maybe. And I think what we're finding out since we've been in business, we've been on this ride where it's just been going up and up and up and we've never seen level yet. And I think that might be what we're seeing a little bit, but I'm not even sure yet. I, would, I wouldn't even call it that yet because I don't think we're sure. But I, ha I see nothing but, you know, extreme growth of this sport. You see it where you're at, we see it all over the country. Any place there's water, people are paddling and it's more and more. And I think events like this, you know, the, I think the thing televised is going to show, uh, it's going to reach many more people. And what, what gets you the most stoked in this sport? What, what like really gets you up out of bed and gets you really happy when you see it online or when you see it in person? Honestly, I, it still has to be the kids. At all the events, I think it's the kids. The, the pros are one thing and it's very exciting and stuff, but it's so neat to see how these kids are growing so fast. You know, we have some kids in the program that, uh, in ISIS program, that you would have seen them a year ago in this surf. They were totally panicked, crying and stuff, and now, they're actually sub-surfing quite well in just a year. It's pretty amazing how fast these kids are improving. So that's kind of, that's exciting to see the growth. And obviously, I, we all believe, I think, that's the future of the sport. 